Good morning, this is Minister Paul. It's Friday, January 8, 2016. It's 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. After the service yesterday, I went into the prayer room. It's called the War Room 777. And Buddy, B Buddy Smith and his wife Brenda, they were sharing a vision. They're from the Lord's Hour. They were sharing a vision they had had uh, uh you know the rapture had had taken place and tribulation had started and they live in a second story apartment and people were pounding on their doors they live uh, upstairs and they call it the upper room and uh, they were sharing this vision and immediately the lord brought to mind this vision i had a couple years ago <clears throat> and it, it, it's it's almost identical this morning while i was sitting there in prayer the Lord said, now is the time for, for you to share this vision. And so obediently I'm going to share this with my Facebook friends and family. I love you. I'm praying for you. I pray for protection and provision over our lives. Let me share this vision quickly. Because <clears throat> now the Lord said, now is the season to share. In, in this vision, it was open vision. I became part of the vision. I was in the vision. I could actually see this. I uh, I was working in a local church here that rents a school. They no longer do this, but at the time they did. And uh, the church was empty. It seated a, it seated at about 150, and there was only about 10 people in there. And uh, I was a usher slash greeter, and I was working the door. And it was time for people to leave. The pastor, uh, uh, his name's Richard, he'd already given the, the message. And there was nobody really there to receive it. There was more people that worked there than uh, had attended. And it was all because they were out watching uh, March Madness basketball tournaments uh, that were on that weekend. And um, I was sad. I was sad that it was such an excellent message and there was no one there to receive it. And then this vision started and I became a part of the vision. What happened was I opened up the, the school doors facing west towards the coast here um, for people to leave. And all of a sudden, I, and then the vision started. As soon as I opened up the doors, the vision started. I looked up and I saw this dark, huge, ominous storm coming towards the school it was the largest storm i'd ever seen it just went for miles and miles and it was heading towards the school and i looked in in, in the vision i saw i saw people driving i saw cars coming in from the north and the south and the east and the west i saw people on bicycles i even saw uh 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 younger people running there were people running as fast as they can driving there was motorcycles it was pandemonium and chaos and they were all coming to the school as if they knew that this church i say school because that's was what it was located in that that church was the safe place to be and as they got closer and closer god spoke to me it audibly and he said paul close the doors and I said, Lord, have mercy. And he said it again, Paul, close the doors. And so I closed the doors. And he said, now lock them. And I'm like, but Lord. And he said, Paul, lock the doors. And so I locked both doors. And I began to cry. Because they were going to perish out there from what was coming. And... Um, and I heard them pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding on the doors. Let us in, let us in, let us in, let us in. And uh, I was so caught up in this vision, I was weeping for the lost that had missed it. And uh, my friend Clarence, who was the usher, he came and shook me out of the vision. That's how real it was. And he saw I was crying in real life. Now the vision's over with. And he said, are you okay? Are you okay, Paul? What happened? It's going to be all right. And I, I said, no, it isn't. I said, come on, babe. I was talking to my wife, Gail. She was sitting there by herself to the whole row. She was the only one in the row. I, I said, come on, babe, let's go. And uh, we drove home. 
and uh, and we all the way home I was crying and my wife said is everything okay and I said no but I didn't tell her why so when I got home and sat down finally I composed myself uh, after what I was shown and I, I explained to my wife uh, what I'd seen and she started tearing up too and I asked God at this point I said God would you really do that it was it was overwhelming. Would you really do that? And he said, "Ask Noah. Ask Noah." And the revelation I got was that there will be a time where we will be caught up, people will be left behind, and I will be able to ask Noah. I will have a conversation with Noah. Uh, and uh, and the co the confirmation was a uh, buddy's wife Brenda had the almost an identical vision. It's going to happen. Surely this will happen because it was real. It wasn't a dream. I saw it. This will happen. This is the season. It's time for us to go reach the souls. And you may sound like a broken record that you're saying the same thing over and over and over again. But how many people do you think could have been saved if they would have listened to Noah who said a storm's coming? If they, they, were, they could have came on the boat. God would have allowed them on the ark. But instead they mocked and mocked. And I wonder how many times Noah warned them. Over and over and over. I wonder how many times. How many times are we to warn? We'll ask Noah when we get there. Because Jesus is coming.